The next in our series of softwares I want to cover is the VC Plus and Volume Support software. This software is really kind of a hybrid between volume control ventilation and pressure control ventilation. It has some of the familiarity that you'd have with volume control, but also has some of the benefits of pressure control ventilation. In this type of ventilation, we have unrestricted flow, as well as the patient can actually take a deeper breath from a volume perspective as well. So this software is uh, basically used invasively and can go down to as low as two milliliter total volume setting. So let's look a little bit closer at the actual software. Now, in traditional volume control ventilation, which is where I'm at right now, I've got a rate of 10, I've got a total of 500. There are some restrictions from the ventilator side of what a patient can really do. If the patient tries to take a very fast breath, you'll notice that the pressure waveform uh, kind of scoped in a little bit there. Uh, they can't actually access additional flow. This is our flow waveform. No matter how hard I pull, there is no more additional flow from a volume control perspective. If the patient wants to take a deeper breath, sometimes they'll pull so hard that they'll actually double trigger a breath. And so that's what it looks like from a, a double trigger perspective. So that's some of the problems associated with volume control. Let's look at what volume control plus can do to help reduce that uh, situation. So now let's go into the setup of VC plus. We're going to access that under the vent setup. VC Plus is only uh, available under the invasive side. Now, I can use it in assist control or SIMV. And right here is the actual VC Plus part of it. So as mentioned, SIMV. If I go over to spontaneous, a similar type of approach to ventilation is volume support in many aspects. But VC Plus offers the ability to give you a set rate. There are some other differences between the two, but in general, there are many similarities between the two of them. I'm gonna go back to assist control. I have the VC plus set there. You set the trigger as well. And then you decide the key parameter settings. What type of rate do you want? What kind of total volume do you want? Inspiratory time. I'm just gonna go ahead and set it to about a second. Your uh, sensitivity. O2 percentage, high pressure limit, and the high pressure limit we'll talk more about and the role that plays. Your PEEP, high inspired total alarm, and we'll talk more about that in a few minutes. Your rise time. And then you also have these three locks, and so you can decide once again what's the most important variable that you want to set. Is it the inspiratory time, the I ratio, or the expiratory time? For my purposes, I'm gonna go ahead and stick with the inspiratory time. Once you have all those set, you just press accept. Now, on the first breath, it puts a really small plateau. It's really hard to tell what, uh, that there's a plateau going on, but that plateau establishes the initial delivered pressure to that patient up here on the top. And so it measures the, the plateau, and then based upon that patient's compliance resistance, it knows where to start with pressure. So at this point, I'm gonna kind of show you some of the comparisons between that volume control and, and the VC plus that we're in now. If we focus in on this waveform right here, the flow waveform, as I pull more aggressively, you'll notice that that patient could access additional flow. When I was in volume control, you notice that the pressure waveform uh, was not established very well and it scooped down. The other aspect of this is looking at the volume. Right now I'm set at 500 milliliters. If I pull down here, we've got basically an inspired displayed of volume right here, about 489. And the way that the software works is it looks at the inspired volume to decide what it's going to do on the next breath. And so if the patient wants to take a deeper breath, he can in VC+. So I'll take a deeper breath, and you can see that the volumes were allowed and he could take that deeper breath, and that may provide additional comfort to the patient. Now the software uses that volume and says, okay, if I have a really deep breath, and I'm set on 500, I'm going to make some adjustments on the next breath, and that usually means dropping the peak pressure from one to three centimeters of water pressure. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and scoop this back up. Now, right now, my peak pressure is about 23, and my peep is about five, so I'm using roughly around 18 centimeters of water pressure. As I mentioned, the software is always looking to see what is going on with that inspired volume. So I'm gonna simulate uh, what can happen if a person starts breathing more uh, aggressively or you know returns the uh, natural breathing pattern so I'm going to take a deep breath and you'll notice that this peak pressure is beginning to drop 
And so the titration of the pressure is automatic in the VC Plus and the volume support software. And so it can lower itself down. If for some reason the patient becomes weaker and they stop participating in breathing, the machine is once again going to notice that and the peak pressures will begin to rise back up one to three centimeters per breath on the next breath. And so you'll notice that the peak pressures are rising right now. Now finally I want to take a little bit of a uh, peek at the actual alarm strategies here. So I'm going to pull up the alarm screen and there are a couple of key alarms that I want to talk about. One of them is the high uh, pressure limit. So right now we're kind of coming up here. That high pressure limit can actually limit the amount of volume that will go to the patient from the ventilator. So for example, I'm going to go ahead and set this thing at maybe 17 centimeters of water pressure and we'll see what happens. So right now it was taking 23 centimeters to ventilate the patient, but I set the alarm below that. And we're getting a alarm on the right side. It's volume not delivered alarm. So we have a volume not delivered alarm. And what it's saying is that Based upon trying to give 500 milliliters, I can't give you that because I need more pressure limit. And right now, because it's set at 17, it's limiting it. There is basically a three centimeter limit of how close the delivered pressure will go to the actual alarm limit. So in this example, set on 500 mils, right now it's stuck at a pressure of 14 actual centimeters of water pressure on the top because the alarm is, stuck, um, is set at 17. And that is going to limit, once again, the delivered volume. You get a volume not delivered alarm. If I increase the high pressure limit up, what you'll see is that the peak pressures can rise and go up. And our alarm goes away, and you remove that limitation of the actual volume delivered to the patient. It doesn't actually end the breath from an inspiratory time perspective, but rather it limits the amount of volume the patient can get. Now the next alarm I want to talk about is this other one here on the right side. And this is the high inspired total volume alarm limit. Now this one basically is also a, a limiter in terms of how much volume the patient can attain, whether it be from the machine or spontaneously. So for example, I set this thing at around 700 milliliters, somewhere in that area, 780. And I try to take a deeper breath. It actually limited the breath. So it actually truncates the breath. So the breath will end. So you have to be careful when you set this alarm to make sure that it falls within lung protective strategies as well as comfort for your patient. So that's the high inspired total volume alarm limit. I'm going to set that one up back to a higher level. Then the last alarm limit in VC Plus is this one we call low pressure alarm. So we'll wait a couple of breaths here. And we can also get a low pressure alarm, decreased peak peak pressure alarm. And so the purpose of that alarm is so that as the software is automatically adjusting the pressures and the patient's status may be improving, that you're aware when the peak pressure is beginning to drop and then you decide whether or not that's an appropriate thing for that patient or whether you want to make any changes to the system. So with that, that is really what VC Plus is all about. And volume support, once again, follows very closely to that same kind of a pattern. Now, in VC Plus, you can allow that peak pressure to drop to within three centimeters of the actual PEEP setting. Three centimeters of the PEEP setting. In volume support, you can have that pressure, that peak pressure drop to within 1.5 centimeters of the actual PEEP setting. Once again, volume support is purely a spontaneous mode. It does not have a rate associated with it. But the patient can take deeper breaths from a volume perspective. It is a targeted volume setting as well. And pressure support will vary based upon what that volume target is and allow, once again, for unrestricted flow. If you have any further questions, please consult the operator's manual for the section on Volume Control Plus and volume support software.